just a thought on, on finishing strong here in the homestand and uh, before going off on three tough road games. You guys have got to be like the way you're playing right now. Yeah, there's lots to like, obviously, when you're on a six-game winning streak. Um, with that being said, obviously, a tough opponent, opponent that's coming in uh, um, desperate and you know, obviously a, a similar situation as us kind of earlier in the year. So, um, you know, going to be a tough test. You guys know that mindset that these guys have because you guys, like you said, you were there. So they're just trying to claw their way back into into the picture. Like well, we're still in it. I mean, we're still in that mindset. Obviously, we dug ourselves a big hole and um, we can't be satisfied that we've got a couple of good runs. You know, obviously, we've got ourselves kind of back into the mix, but um, still so much work left to be done. One of the guard got hit pretty hard last night. Is that just what happens when you're the, the rookie in the league? You're going to take a solid hit? Remember your first? Other other than the one into the end boards? <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, obviously it's unfortunate. You never want to see a guy uh, a guy go down. Um, you know, but I'm sure I'm sure I'll be fine. I'm, it was, yeah. What was your welcome to the NHL moment? Was it that? Does that hit with Manning or was it another one? Uh, no, I wouldn't say that. Um, I would say my welcome to the NHL moment was skating around and, and we were playing Washington at uh, uh, at the old Rexall and seeing big number eight on the other side, um, you know, and realizing you're going to be going up against him. Um, that was kind of my, my welcome to the NHL moment. Chris talked the other day about you need to be better, like, you know, despite the fact that games are con you're winning games, that there's still a push to be better. What, what do you see are areas that you guys can continue to focus on? Yeah, I thought we were a little bit fortunate to, to win the other night. Um, you know, Stu held us in it. I thought that's been the case a couple of the, couple of the games. We've got really solid goaltending. And, um, you know, I think um, limiting chances, obviously, uh, continuing to do that. Um, we found ways to produce offense, but that being said, um, you know, the defensive side, obviously, you can always get better. Do you look at the skills differently now when there's a million dollars on the line, or do you, how do you look at that? How do I look at that? Um, you know what, ultimately, it's there to entertain and put on a show for the fans. That's what ultimately it, it comes down to. Um, you know, we want it to be entertaining, and um, I think the last couple skills competitions have kind of dragged on. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys seen, but, you know, they're a little bit long and, and slow, um, <laughs> you know, so hopefully that, hopefully that uh, you know, there's no surfboards this year, which would be good, um, you know, so hopefully it's entertaining for the fans. That's ultimately what, what the All-Star Game is all about is for it to be entertaining, and, you know, that's the goal. Did you have a hard shot? Yeah, I'm not sure I'll pick that one, but um, we'll see. Did you have input in maybe what, you know, did they come to the players and say, hey, what do you guys think about what should we do for a skills type thing? Do you guys have, guys have any input on that? Um, yeah, I think the league and, and the PA is always working together to uh, to better the product, not only you know on the ice, uh, you know in games and stuff like that, but you know special events like that. You know the league and the PA are always kind of working together.